it's definitely bizarre, yeah. Yeah, so that's a different one. Very different sound compared to what I've heard so far. Yeah. Yeah. Bon Jovi. It's my... Fill this up, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You know, I'd rather have my teeth pulled. In a, uh, <laughs> in a good way. How can that be in a good way? <laughs> it was more the rock thing, though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It might be... Uh, well, how much younger are you than me then? Not that much younger. I'm 85. Now I'm 79. Yeah. Maybe a little bit of a difference. Because if people who are born in the 90s. Once you put in a continuous app, better hurry. Don't do Fire! Kool Aid talking display. Oh yeah! It's so hot. It's a whole lot more. Might say something like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this one is definitely all of my love for the 70s rock coming out, obviously. Like T Rex. <laughs> this very T Rex, an obvious one. And also with the drumming, because it's the Led Zeppelin style drumming. John Bonham, I love Alice Cooper. And all of that stuff from the early, yeah. all of that rock stuff, you know, Bowie. Hey! Yeah. Of course, you know. <laughs> it's all of that just in one go. Joachim Johansson, who's the Mephisto of drums, he plays the drums. <laughs> the drums are they're so good. Like. <laughs> The John Bonham style drums that he does. It doesn't sound very fancy, but it's something about the how he hits the drums. And this sort of <laughs> he's a little behind always. It's so groovy. Groovy in a fantastic way. And just makes the whole song really. Good bass too, and everything's good. I, I, I really like this song. It's kind of, it, it felt good to get all of that out. I told you earlier about the Maldara, and I read that book again. Maldara. And I, I found that there are these tiny part, like tiny bits of compassion there somehow. Maldara's love. And I based the lyrics for this one on this line from the book, the specific little section from the book where he talks to his lover. What does he say though? Will Chettle tell us what Maldoro says? Tall man. Tall man. Well, I guess the answer is no. I guess we'll never know. Do you have anything more you would like to say about this? Not at all. Bon Jovi it's... ruined it all. <laughs> bon Jovi up my ass. I'm f***ing working back here. <laughs> <laughs> so, but do people have to read the actual Maldoro book to understand the themes of the album? No, I don't think so. It'll be hard to understand the themes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Even when reading the book. Well, to a certain degree, yes. Yeah. I think some of the songs definitely. Uniform of a Killer, for example. And this song was the one that started it all. A mix master drink of Nick Cave, Satan, A Nightmare Before Christmas. I mean, if you read the lyrics and you don't know anything about it, you would just think of it as a some sort of, well, love lyrics. Like, yeah. you know, sort of uh, straightforward rock love lyrics, I would say. But that's pretty cool, considering how macabre and bizarre it actually is. Yeah, so in that context, it's definitely bizarre, yeah? yeah. The Mulder context. But it could also be just a regular love song, which is all right with me, whatever yeah. you would want to think. But that's what I, the beauty of it, that it's actually inspired by something far more extreme. Yeah, yeah, like the worst. <laughs> you are an extreme person, Mr. Nick. Yeah, Nick maybe. Nick. I don't know. Not that extreme, extreme. though, but it's, stu it's just middle of the road yeah. stuff that bores me. Yeah. W what do you think? You're like, you're the same, yeah. I know. It's either go 666% or just fuck it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Zero or six. So silence or noise? It's just in between. Boo. I think we can all agree on that. Hell yeah. And we all thank you, Chekhov, for doing that. You want to hear the next song? Well, I'm kind of tired of these songs, but you maybe want to hear the next one. You know what? I do want to hear the next one. Let's go. Um, 
Um, yeah. And this song was the one that started it all. A mix master drink of Nick Cave, Satan, The Nightmare Before Christmas. When I make music, and when I do anything actually, even when I do this kind of stuff with you. Uh, of snow. Thanks. And I saw his penis today. <laughs> when you were driving. Did, did you get a shot of it? Oh.